Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy here and today we have the completed pages for the month of February. So according to my little tracker, I have managed to complete 33 pages. Technically 32, 33 is a little different. Um, and some of these are not full pages, but we'll explain as I go through them with you. So yeah, we'll go on a journey of everything I completed in the month of February. So we'll start with like a couple of random things. Um, first off, the first five completed pages are not technically coloring pages. They are characters that I designed, drew and colored um, for a acquaintance who is putting together a rule book for an RPG system that they designed. So yeah, these five characters were, they gave me little descriptors. I designed and drew and colored and did these characters and the physical actual versions of these characters are with the person that commissioned this so I don't have the physicals to show you you'll just have to make do with the digital image <laughs> that I've got currently up on the screen um, so the next one that we will go through is Mythomorphia and the reason why we'll do Mythomorphia is this year in 2023 I have a goal to complete Mythomorphia so Every month you will see quite a bit of Mythomorphia. I need to complete six pages a month, uh, 6.3 pages per month. So that is, like if it's a double page spread, that's two pages. So I need to complete 6.3 pages, which we did achieve this month. So the first one that we completed, oh, I did not think about the stack being here in these big double page books. Let me just move those a little out of the way. My book is also falling apart. <laughs> if you've not seen it in other videos, yeah. She's getting old and well loved. Um, so the first one we completed was this Vintage Leaves page, which there is actually a time lapse up for. And it was a very quick page to complete, which was really, really lovely because my other pages this month were very, very time consuming. One of those time consuming pages was this Chinese dragon. Um, this was actually done as a buddy color with the lovely coloring bumblebee. And I, if I remember, I will put up a image of the one as well, cause they did say I could do that. Um, but yeah, this was really great cause I've been putting off this page. I love how the scales came out and the background's like really glittery and sparkly, which is what is causing issues with my lights. <laughs> um, and then the third one I completed was Cerberus. Very happy with this as well. Um, distress inks in the background. Use a couple of snapshots of this one up on the channel. I did it, I was working on it during some color and chats and different things. So there's a couple of like, you can see parts of this one in progress, not the full time lights, but parts of it. And then this is our point three page. This is very much a work in progress. Right now it looks very rough because again, it is a work in progress. So I applied a bunch of glitter mediums to this background, this white background which I thought would be a nice contrast against these really bright, colorful bits coming out of a gray dragon. And the dragon looks really rough because this is all based with felt tips uh, because this side obviously backs onto an image, whereas this side is the end of the book, so it doesn't matter. So we used Copics. Um, but yeah, so this is the point 0.3. It could be a bit more than point 0.3 technically, but yeah, point 0.3. So that achieved my goal for the month, which was lovely. And then as I was going through Mythomorphia, you might have seen these little bookmarks. And these were actually four things that I completed this month too. So these are all free PDFs from Mariola Budek's Facebook group. And I just printed them relatively small, colored them in, and then backed them all with some um, scrapbooking card and some glitter tape since that to strengthen them. Covered them in contact paper so that they were laminated and now I'm using them as a bookmark. And I was just experimenting with different 
like ribbon bottoms. So this one I tried to use my butterfly punch to match butterflies and does not work. So it's got an unfortunately big hole, but it still works. This one I was trying with no ribbon at all. This one I just punched a regular hole and then put a few ribbons. Um, but this one's actually my favorite where I punched a hole and I put a ribbon, but then I knotted the ends and put a bead on there, which means when this is in a book, I can pull this tight and it sits in place. And I'm thinking I'd like to put like a little paper clip on there so I can clip it at the top and then lock it at the bottom. And that would stay quite securely in place too, if I wanted to do that. So yeah, but if you want to learn a bit more about making these and how I go through the process, please let me know because I'm more than happy to film a tutorial on it and find some more either little PDFs or even grab Mariola Boudex, um her hair packs or something or her beauty packs which have these sort of simpler illustrations that would work quite well for this sort of situation. I'm trying to get away from using post-its. Um, I had some post-its unfortunately stain a page. So I'm trying to build a bookmark collection now. <laughs> um, so this is uh, the PDF that I did or rather the loose individual page. So this is by the artist Pencil Butter. There is also a time lapse for this one on my YouTube channel. It's glorious. I did this one for Valentine's Day. It's so pretty and so cute. I love the colours of it. And then we have a million llamas. And you can see quite a few tags in here because one of the things that I did this month is I completed a lot of my work in progress pages. So when I started the month, I had 58 pages that were currently in progress and I've managed to get that down quite significantly which I am very proud of. There are unfortunately a couple of new work in progress pages added to it but not many for me so that's a win. So one of the work in progress pages that's been added to it is this one. I'm very close to completing it. I just literally need to finish this bit, um, add a colour to this base do some little minor details and decide if I'm doing anything else with the background. So this one's really, really close. If I wasn't on holiday today, or rather, if I wasn't falling asleep on the car journey back, I could have finished this in the car on the way back, which was the plan, but I kept falling asleep. I was so exhausted after this weekend. It's been an amazing trip though. And I have an amazing haul to film as well. Alright, so the next completed page is this one here, and I chose to just keep this one in felt tips to match its counterpart on the other side, even though I've kind of worked out how to work in these books with pencils now, so I don't need to just use felt tips, which is really lovely and has meant that I'm understanding this paper a lot more, which is great. Alright, what's our next one? This one? I love this page. So this one I was just experimenting with a lot of different things and it wasn't really working out well so I just went meh effort let's pull out the glitter goose because if in doubt glitter it out. Um, so this uses almost every colour of my stickles glitter glue that I have. Almost every colour not every colour. Um, I'm lacking an orange I discovered with this page so yeah that's one of the next things to purchase is an orange stickles. Um, but yeah, I, I just love how glittery and bright and rainbow this page is. And then this was another work in progress that I finished off. So um, in the book tour, I showed that half of this I had gone over with pencil from the felt tips and defined and created some shadows. And then some of it was still flat with the felt tips. So yeah, I went in there and I finished off that one. So that was another one I got to tick off the list. And then this was another work in progress that I finished off. And originally I had started this one with just felt tips again because I originally didn't know how to work with the paper in this book. 
and I saw a tutorial about using Crayola Super Tips in a water brush to create like a water effect, watercolor effect. I was like, that's pretty cool. I'm going to try that. And I just started by trying to use it in the background of some of these pictures to make it look artistic. Freaking loved how it turned out. So I went a bit nuts and did the whole page, but it worked really well. And with some of the elements having already been pre-colored in, I could kind of work with it. And yeah, I really love how this one turned out. This one's, I think, one of my favorites of this book at the moment. Though I do love the glitter page. <laughs> and yeah, so that was everything in A Million Llamas by Lulu Mayo. Town's going to start up right now, isn't it? Oh goodness, hopefully I don't get copyright stroke. Hopefully. Uh, yay all right so we managed to do one in worlds of wonder i had to put this one behind i think because it wouldn't stick to the page and it is this lovely kitten in the garden and this was done as part of coloring bumblebees um hashtag for this book so yeah it was to color this page this month and I went a bit nuts as you can see some of the sequins aren't sticking on so I do still have to technically go in here and add a Mod Podge layer or something just to make sure these sequins stay in place or just go in and correct a couple of them. I think most of them are pretty good. I think it's just one or two that are a bit loose but I really love how this page turned out and again it's super sparkly and really nice. So, a big double page spread that you'll see on the channel is, of course, the 12 Dancing Princesses. So this was, I think it ended up being a five-part series on the channel as I went through using masking uh, washi tapes to create all the dresses and then colouring all the princesses in and then adding in all the, mod all the glitter stickles and the details. And, yeah, it was quite a big process but I really really love how this whole spread turned out it's so pretty and just the details and oh and also this was one of my unworked books so that was really cool to work in a book I hadn't worked in and this was for Shani's Shani Blue's fairy tale prompt as well So I did one page in Luna, and that's this page here. And this one was the first one where I was trying out the technique of using Crayola Super Tips like watercolors. Um, but the paper makes a difference, and this is not the right paper for performing that technique on, so it didn't really work. But I kind of just used the Super Tips to sort of base the page, and then because I had done Crayola Super Tips for the background. I used Crayola pencils on the actual drawing and then I pulled out like Crayola glitter markers. So it's kind of a Crayola page. <laughs> um, but yeah, for being just Crayola, it came together really cutely. The only thing I don't like are these clouds because the silver glitter marker just did not work all that great. So yeah, that's the one I'd like to take out. But other than that, it's a very cute little image and it was a lot of fun. Always love working in Luna, it's so fun. So I did a couple in the Disney stained glass colouring book. So this is my go-to when I'm just feeling pretty blur or stressed. So I literally just colour in this one with felt tips. But it's good to have a book like that where you just don't really care, you just colour. Um, so I finished off this work in progress this month. Literally all that was left to do was a border. So that was a pretty quick finish off. And then we also did Tinkerbell and her friends. And then I also did Winnie the Pooh. So yeah, this is still my most completed book um I think I'm almost half not halfway I think I'm like 30% through I'd have to look at my tracker again but 
this is the one that I have done the most in, but I have another book that's catching up. So another one, another page that you will find a number of videos for on the channel is my page from Tarot Coloring, which is the full, um, such like out of my pages this month, I still think this is my favorite page. So, so love how this one turned out. The colors, the detail, everything about this page is just, I love it so much. So I'm very proud of this page. And also again, this was the first page in a book I hadn't touched. So that was another book of my collection that it was worked in for the first time too. But, um, yeah, extremely happy with how this one turned out. And now I'm really wanting to get into this book a lot more and color more and more of the tarot cards because it's a gorgeous book. Um, so I have a page in Gods and Goddesses, the special by Josh Lee from Coloring Heaven. And that's Aphrodite. So this was, again, another finish off page. Um, I had completed is that noisy cars as well. Wow, it's Wednesday night in town. It should not be this noisy. <laughs> um, I had completed Aphrodite mostly. I just had like the little gems to go and I hadn't put any eye shinies in. Um, but I hadn't done anything in the background or any of these birds or anything like that. Um, so I coloured in the flowers, finished off Aphrodite. Um, just pulled out my gallery water soluble crayons and did like a gradient for here and literally the birds are just colored in the Crayola glitter markers <laughs> which is a bit of a cheat but it got to this point I was just like I just want to make them glittery and I actually really love how they turned out and then I used a Faber-Castell brush tip pit pen I think it was to just outline this and then pulled out my black acrylics and painted down the border which that I think really brought it together and made it just pop like I love the solid black border with all the little light details around so yeah it's just like boom straight to her eyes which I love and again this got another page off the work in progress list So a page that was technically completed in my collection but not completed by me is Pretty Dolly in Fedorables Mini by Selena Fennick. Um, and the reason why this was completed but not by me is that I had a guest stay with me for over a week and a bit, like the last quarter of the month. Um, she stayed with me and so while she's here asked if she wanted to do some colouring. We found this one on the shelf and she went ahead and spent ages colouring it in and doing all this amazing shading and detail work on the dress. And then we pulled out some acrylic inks and she went a little, like, oh, she went in the background and created that sort of smoky effect. Unfortunately, this paper is terrible for water, which I did warn her. Um, we have compressed this for a week to try and straighten out as much as possible and it's definitely a lot straighter but I don't mind the textural effect and I love the fact that she signed it for me too so yeah it's really cool to have in my collection this page done by Sammy who I will tag down below you should go follow her she does amazing miniature make, um, paintings especially over on Twitch oh so good and then the final big lot of pages completed is in Fledgling Fairies, which I worked in quite a bit this month. This was not initially the plan, but I really enjoyed working in this this month. And also I happened to order the new Christine Karen coloring book from Blue Angel Books. So part of me wanted to also try and complete as much of this as possible before they arrived because this has also had quite a bit of work done. Um, did not complete it, knew I wouldn't complete it, but part of me is tempted to complete this 
issue before I start working in the other book because it's so much has been worked in here. So let me just show you. Um, so the first one that was completed was Dreamy Fae. Um, so this one is one of the whips that I finished off. So literally I just had to put some Mod Podge over the sparkle to keep it in place. I added an extra coat of glitter. I went in with some Poskas and stuff and added some details to her eyes and just added some pencil shading. So this was a pretty quick finish off. Um, it just needed some finessing. But I love how she turned out. She's so sweet. And then I also finished Faye Darling. Again, this one was pretty close to completion. I literally just had to go in there and add the glitter. Um, and again, the Posca and Shinies in her eyes. I went in and added some more details and like did some shadow on the bottle, added some definition to the hair. And then the big thing I did was add the clouds behind because we had a bit of spillage from the blow of this page. So it kind of just absorbed that a bit. Like you can still see, but it's not distinct and I'm happy with it. And then the next completed page. Oh, no, it's a little bit on. Fairy Dust. And this one is also a time lapse on the channel, should you want to go and watch the process of me completing this one. So yellow, so bright. And then we have Sugar Plum, which I am working on editing. I have most of the footage. Unfortunately, I had some camera issues, so there's a couple of sections that weren't recorded, but it looks like it was just like me putting down the base color of the clothes. So it might still be all right. I have to go back and just review footage and see what I can do with it. But yeah, I just really, this one I just really wanted to work with pink. That was it. I just wanted to do something pink. <laughs> so that's the one work in progress that is now remaining in this one. I think I started the month with six in here. I had a lot in progress in here. So it's good to get a lot of them finished off. And then this was one of the whips that we worked and again that's also a video on this channel where the fairy had been colored and we colored in the rest of it to finish off this page another whip that we worked was soulmates so this one had the um markers down and a little bit of pencil shading but we went in there and defined the pencil shading a lot added some more additional details just mostly contrast and then added the background and these little petals just flying everywhere and yeah I love this one now and then the final one that I finished off was whimsy fairy so again this one I went in there with a lot more pencil definition to just define out some certain areas I then went all over the background with my terrible cheap glitter glue even though I swore on a hundred times I'd never use it I used it and it of course bled because that's what it does but it bled all over her and I was like oh no but then I was like well where it is maybe it's tattoos so I ended up just drawing some little vine tattoos on her and I kind of dig it so and now we've got the texture in the background. It's like, yep, this page feels a lot better to me with that sort of something in the background than just the bright blue green. So yeah, that was everything that I completed this month in my coloring books and in the PDFs. So we get to add in some interesting little steps so the pages finished off is technically 32 now of those 32 um pages i had this all pre-written out there we go 23 are from coloring books because I 
don't have my PDFs tracked and I don't track individual like pencil butters, individual little pages and those bookmarks being like a printout, I don't track those sort of ones. I track coloring book pages. So this is just what works for me. Now of all the pages that I did this month, I did create three new work in progress pages. Um, plus one PDF page. So the Kirby work in progress page is two of the pages that I created. The other work in progress page that I have created in the PDF is in Mystic Animals. Um, so I started the Otter page. Um, so I've done all the so far some markers on this. We've still got a bit of work to go. But I started this page. So this is now a new whip. And then I also started this Kanoko Igusa, I hope I pronounced that right, um, free download, which again is still in progress. So, but I also don't necessarily track PDFs so much. I tend to work in books, so I work on tracking books. So that means that we have three new work in progress pages. However, with everything that I worked this month, my new work in progress totals is 48. And that's including the new free that I created. So that means that I got my work in progress pages from 58 down to 45. I worked 13 work in progress pages, which is incredibly amazing to get done. Um, this month I released 30 videos because for my first month on YouTube I wanted to release a video every day and on a couple of days I released two so that was fun and then sneak peek for the next video but we purchased 11 new books because I went a little crazy this month with art supplies which you'll see in the whole video. <laughs> And then the other thing that I wanted to thank everyone for was my end of month stat increase. So at the end of this month, I ended on 1,887 subscribers on YouTube, which is an increase of 197, which is incredible. And thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. And I know it's actually technically more that have subscribed and joined the channel recently um, because when I started uploading again, YouTube did their sort of thing where they culled a bunch of people that had subbed to me because I hadn't uploaded in so long, but also because I suddenly appeared, some people would have seen it and been like, oh, I don't actually follow them anymore and unsubscribed. I knew that would be the case. So I think from memory there's about 16 initially on the first day that um subs so we actually got over 200 new subscribers this month which is incredible it's not about the stats but it was really fun to watch and for the end of the year I want these stats so this is why I'm tracking it I quite like numbers even though I don't care about the stats it's just the numbers are fun to see so Instagram, we ended the month on 439, which is an increase of 38. My Twitch channel ended the month on 397, which is an increase of 13 and gets me so close to 400, which is so cool. And then Facebook ended on 507, which is an increase of zero, but that's okay because Facebook is only there because it cross promotes with Instagram. So <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that has been my coloring month. I hope you've enjoyed all these pages and seeing the videos that you've been seeing this month of all my work. It's been a really fun first month back on YouTube. I don't know if I'm going to keep uploading videos at this speed because it was a lot, but I also color a lot and this made me color a lot this month. So we'll see, you know, um, but for the meantime, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.